Welcome everyone, Build Out here. I am super, super excited about this video. In this video, we're gonna talk about you as a PMO director or a PMO manager, the five tips for your success. Hi everyone, Build Out here, and I wanted to get on this video and really share what I feel are the five tips that you need to do to be successful in the PMO manager, PMO director role, basically in the PMO leadership role. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I've ran 10 PMOs across four companies. I'm in my largest PMO today and I love it. And I want to get on and really share some best practices of what I experienced. Like I said, I've been doing this for a long time and I thought what would resonate better so I tell you a quick story. Over the last 10 PMOs, right, it's not all been a bed of roses. I've ran into some very challenging PMOs where my management team wasn't that supportive, right, and really didn't value the PMO in any way. So it really was tough. So I had to survive. I had to get good at this role and I constantly improve and constantly looking for ways to improve and just get better. And now, as you know, I'm quite well known and well respected in the PMO community. So I thought, what a better time to jump on and really give you five tips to be successful. But before I continue, I want to ask you a question and I'd love for you to comment below. What are your tips for running a successful PMO? Right, I've been doing it for 20 years, but you guys have been doing it for a long time as well. And I'd love to understand and really grab some tips from you as well. So please go comment down below. Let me know if A, these tips resonate with you, but what are some of the tips that I mentioned or I forgot to mention because I would love to learn from you as well. All right, let me get to the point. Let me get to the meat, right? What are my top tips for a PMO manager or a PMO director? Number one, you have to be organized and efficient. Right? A, a successful PMO director is someone who is well organized and can effectively manage their time and their resources. It's a very busy role, right? So time management is going to be critical for you and success and really for your success, you got to be good at time management. Okay. Number two, be a good, no, no, no. I mean a great communicator. A successful PMO director is someone who can effectively communicate with their team, their stakeholders, their clients, their leadership. You have to communicate up, communicate down, communicate sideways, right? Good communications means really looking at all directions and making sure that you're communicating as effectively as possible and you're sending the right message to the right audience. A PMO director, is, that's critical in their skill set. Number three, Three, not two, three. Uh, be proactive. A successful PMO director is someone who's always thinking of ahead, always proactively trying to problem solve. We have to be looking forward, right? I've been running a PMO for a long time, and I've always found that if you're looking forward, looking forward, and looking for that next obstacle to really tackle, it, that proactive thinking is going to help you really be successful. A reactive PMO director slash manager is really going to really put you behind the eight ball. So be proactive. Number four, be flexible. A successful PMO manager who is flexible can easily adapt and change, right? You need that skill set. You cannot be too rigid. PMOs are constantly changing, and so you need to be constantly changing with your PMO and adapting to a changing environment. Think about what we experienced in COVID, for example. We all shifted to remote. Number five, you gotta love your PMO. You gotta love your PMO, your resources. You gotta live and breathe this every day because if you show your passion and your care towards your people, your PMO, right? It's going to just, it's gonna pay back in fold, right? And so you've gotta be passionate. You gotta love this stuff and love your organization. Does that make sense? All right, what do you think? Comment below, let me know which ones I've missed. Uh, I've been doing this for years, uh, you know, 31 years in the business, 20 uh, running PMOs. I just love this stuff. Just as a reminder, if you like this topic, you like this video, please like it, please comment, hit that little bell button. I'm dropping and releasing new videos all the time in both the PMO and the project management space. Thank you for your time. I'll see you online.